Guzman now controls a vast drug distribution empire that spans six continents. Even more remarkable, El Chapo helped build that empire while serving time in the maximum security prison known as Puente Grande. Chapo's modus operandi in Puente Grande was to uh, very quickly corrupt everyone he needed to. And he, he employed a secretary who would approach a guard or a janitor or a cook and say, you know, we, we would like you, you know, to work for us, to be with us. If someone, for instance, put up resistance, the secretary would pull out a laptop and show pictures uh, of the, the man's family. And very quickly, the guard would comply because he knew that his family would be killed if he didn't comply. El Chapo Guzmán logró apoderarse del control total del penal. Miserables cantidades de dinero a los custodios. A los custodios que, que hacían lo que el Chapo quería cuando quería. Le metían mujeres, le metían droga, le metían comida y llegan mariachis y llegan litros y litros de alcohol. Chapo Guzmán ran his businesses from prison for eight years until a new Mexican law made the extradition of drug lords to the United States much easier. That's when Chapo decided he'd served long enough. The understanding is that Chapo Guzman, in early 2001, in January, decided, I gotta go. Mexico's top security official visited the prison and, concerned about corruption, ordered Guzman moved. Later that night, at about, I think it was about 8 or 9 p.m., the guards did their rounds. Chapo was allegedly in his cell. El Chito, the young janitor, stopped by Chapo's cell with his laundry cart, put Chapo in, rolled him down the corridor to a door that had been left open, propped open by a shoe. The security cameras had been cut. To this day, no one knows who cut those cameras. They had to, there had to be official complicity. El Chito allegedly uh, rolled Chapo down the hall, uh, through the open doors, down the corridors and past the guards, and put Chapo uh, into the back of a Chevy and uh, continued to drive off to um, Guadalajara. The escape is reported to have cost El Chapo two and a half million dollars. 